Hi, welcome to Dr. Vic's Academy. Today we will be talking about the assessment of asymptomatic microscopic hematuria in adults. Microscopic hematuria is defined as the presence of three or more red blood cells per high power field visible in a properly collected urine specimen. In many patients with microscopic hematuria, a specific cause or pathology is not found. In the small percentage of patients for whom an etiology is identified, causes may include urinary tract infection, benign prostatic hyperplasia, medical renal disease, urinary calculi, urethral stricture disease, and urologic malignancy. Confirmation of hematuria. The most important test in the evaluation of hematuria is a microscopic examination of the urine. Six approximately 10 milliliters of midstream urine should be collected and immediately centrifuged and placed on a microscopic slide. The presence of three or more red blood cells on a single, properly collected, non contaminated urinalysis without evidence of infection is considered clinically significant microscopic hematuria. The use of a simple urine dipstick test for identifying microscopic hematuria has a sensitivity greater than 90%. However, there is a considerable false positive rate up to 35%, thus necessitating follow-up microscopic analysis for all positive results. Hematuria with Urinary Tract Infections If a patient has microscopic hematuria in the presence of pyuria or bacteria, a urine culture should be obtained to rule out urinary tract infection. Culture-directed antibiotics should be administered, and a microscopic urinalysis should be repeated in six weeks to assess for resolution of the hematuria. Benign causes of hematuria. Many causes of microscopic hematuria do not require a full diagnostic workup, including vigorous exercise, infection or viral illness, menstruation exposure to trauma, or recent urologic procedures. Initial Evaluation All patients with confirmed asymptomatic microscopic hematuria should provide a patient history and have a physical examination that includes blood pressure measurement and a laboratory assessment. A pelvic examination should be performed in women to identify urethral masses, diverticular, atrophic vaginitis, or uterine source of bleeding. A rectal examination is necessary in men to evaluate the size and presence of nodularity in the prostate. A serum creatinine level should be obtained to screen for medical renal disease and to evaluate renal function before performing a contrast-enhanced radiology test. Signs and Symptoms of Medical Renal Disease The presence of microscopic hematuria and dysmorphic red blood cells, cellular casts, proteinuria, Elevated creatinine level, or hypertension should raise suspicion for medical renal etiologies, such as glomerulonephritis. The risk of urologic malignancy increases significantly in men, persons older than 35 years, and persons with a history of smoking. Patients with risk factors for urologic malignancy shall under further investigation with computed tomography urography and cystoscopy. Imaging. Multifacic computed tomography urography is the imaging procedure of choice in the evaluation of microscopic hematuria because of its high sensitivity of 91% to 100% and specificity of 94% to 97%. The use of computed tomography urography is precluded in pregnant women and in persons with renal insufficiency or contrast media allergies. Renal ultrasonography is less sensitive at 50% sensitivity, and 95% specificity in detecting urothelial lesions, small renal masses, and urinary calculi. The appropriate upper tract imaging method should be determined by clinical circumstances, patient preferences, and available resources. A more limited or alternative evaluation may be sufficient in some low-risk patients particularly those younger than 35 years without other risk factors in whom the risk of malignancy is low. Evaluation of the lower urinary tract. Cystoscopy is recommended in all patients with asymptomatic microscopic hematuria who present with risk factors for malignancy, regardless of age. 
if appropriate workup does not reveal nephrologic or urologic disease, then annual urinalysis should be performed for at least two years after initial referral. If these two urinalyses do not show persistent hematuria, the risk of future malignancy is less than 1%. And the patient may be released from care. In summary. The most common causes of microscopic hematuria are urinary tract infection, benign prostatic hyperplasia, and urinary calculi. However, up to 5% of patients with asymptomatic microscopic hematuria are found to have a urinary tract malignancy. Dysmorphic red blood cells, cellular casts, proteinuria, elevated creatinine levels, or hypertension in the presence of microscopic hematuria should prompt concurrent nephrologic and urologic referral. The upper urinary tract is best evaluated with multifacic computed tomography urography, which identifies urinary calculi, and renal lesions. The lower urinary tract is best evaluated with cystoscopy for benign prostatic hyperplasia, and bladder masses. Audio jungle. Audio Jungle